Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, October 31st, end of the month of 2024. I'm Giovanni Medicor, and this is a recording previous to the USA Open. All right, so we are here seeing how the markets yesterday, uh, just after you know, do, doing a little bit of a, a high or movement, it quickly uh, corrected, it retraced deeply, and that correction is continuing. We opened the gap down. So, you know, a backlash to technology, to tech companies spending eye-watering sums on artificial intelligence technology was always in the cards. Meta platforms and Microsoft look to be suffering after posting their earnings reports, but there's no sign it will put a halt to the AI rates. Investors now look forward to re the release of the Fed's preferred inflation gauge and a new round of corporate earnings reports with particular focus on results from the magnificent seven companies of Apple and Amazon. On the macro front, today we're gonna to be seeing the uh, US, personal, uh, and US personal spending and personal income data will be closely monitored today. Uh, we'll also be uh, having a US initial jobless claims data, uh, which will be reported today as well. Economists estimate this figure to be around 229. 129,000 compared to last week's number of 227,000. Uh, so we are expecting, I mean, obviously that, that number is going to come out and we can we expect for it to continue down. It is the end of the month. Obviously, a lot of people are coming off, rolling their positions, uh, you know, repositioning themselves. So I will speculate a continuation to, of this, of this uh, sell off. Uh, perhaps even meeting that low of October 27th, 23rd, 23rd, uh, the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 and, and see where we are. The same token, uh, let's just re reposition our levels. Let's use this previous, uh, lowers here. And then we just gonna, we, we're gonna be doing the, uh, also just this low, which happens to coincide with this uh, volume cluster be from before. And so also a, a gap down. So selling today, uh, you no know, people are gonna be you know, coming up. They, they gotta, you know, if, if for those who have been long all month, uh, they're, you know, they, they gotta take the cash off the, over the table. So perhaps a lot of selling will, will be sparked today because of the end of the month. Obviously tomorrow we're gonna have the NFP. Uh, that also opened with gap down. The 50 day moving average is right there to see if that would be enough to sustain it or will it continue to move lower. Then we have the Russell, uh, which is basically flat. She did open with a gap up, uh, but a, let's see what would happen. I mean, obviously, uh, the, uh, these are small caps, so they don't have that much of volatility coming from the other peers, higher peers. So perhaps. That could be a space where you can find some opportunities. Crude oil, uh, yesterday it did rally to the upside. Today, early in, in uh, lunch session, it did flip to lower to yesterday's half range. Yesterday's, uh, it's, it's rebounded. So as, again, I'm assuming that continuation to the $70 marker, cautiously. Then, net gas, up and with a gap up. 50 day moving average is pretty, you know, putting pressure on it. But still, I'm, I'm very bullish on net gas. Moving higher, gold. All right, so gold is looking uh, also. It is the end of the month again. It opened with a gap, little gap up. It has been closing. It's trending lower, but obviously again, this is repositioning. Uh, you no, know, a lot of reposition. You, you gotta, you gotta come out of this, out of your, out of your positions in, in order to cash in. So this is this could probably be an end of being again end of the month. So, but still being long long term, buying gold long term. Then not as silver has actually just moved lower. So let's just use a 20 day moving average to see if that would be the where it'll it'll find support and let's use the double top you create as a as a resistance. Long term buying being long silver also as well. Alright, so I, I'm assuming this is gonna continue. So really just another continuation, not not a breakout at any given time, but when? Then Bitcoin, so Bitcoin uh, is looking again to uh, continue move, making new highs. Seventy-five thousand dollars is right around the corner. So let's see. It is obviously pulling back. Also, uh, those who have been long, they, they want to come out. The sell is, is going to be sparked. Then we have the currencies. The euro is looking to uh, 
you know, filter above that 200 day moving average. Uh, let's see if that will be the case for the euro. Then we have the pound. The pound is also just it's been just really just staying within range of the 130. Let's see if today will be able to close above that. And that will happen as the dollar index finds its way to continue to fluctuate lower and, and, and just really break that 200 day moving average. Uh, so if that's the case, have a great, great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.